Provide us with the Lord and the remnants of the Lord. Brother of the Lord, my brothers in Tariqat, As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Where has the last week gone? They always say that uh, time flies when you're having fun. Fun is not a word that you would uh, easily use for such a blessed occasion as the month of Rabi Lubba Chilif or the moments that we will spend at the feet of our blessed you. But it has been fun because it has been enjoyable and it has been a huge blessing from Rabi. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the Sadaqa of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam that this is the third year in which our Shiyu despite their many other commitments around the world they show their love for us in the UK all their commitments in mind all their family in mind for one purpose, to come and see their spiritual children. <coughs> However, much thanks we give to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it is not enough. When you ask to stand up and speak in front of your shaykh or in front of your spiritual father, it is easy because we know they love us. It's also difficult because we know that soon they will not be amongst us in the way that they are amongst us right now. But I also think that moments like this are pretty sad because in the next few moments, or what tomorrow morning, the Lord will be the Lord will be the Lord will leave us. And I quite, like everybody else, can get quite sad. Come together like this and please 
no shame. Imagine what we all over the UK can do if we stay like this. Oh, I, I plead to all of you, such that when our shield come in June, the welcome that we gave them this time should be at least doubled, tripled next time. And when they finish their tour, a summer tour, a long tour, they are more pleased with us at that time than they are with us today. And that requires us to do one thing. And we are all the people, particularly the people from Birmingham, and I'm looking at all of them because our experience in the last two or three weeks has given us the success, given us all the success that was that anyone can have in Birmingham. <coughs> was that for the greater good, everyone kept their own wishes behind and listened to the next person. Everybody, I can tell you one example because I'll just spend one more minute. Every one of us, including me, wanted Musaf to come to their house. I wanted Musaf to come to my house. My Fusa wanted Musaf to come to their house. My Fusa wanted Musaf to come to their house. And I can name every person in Berlin and the surrounding area. We all wanted Musaf to come to our house at least two or three days ago. <coughs> but we thought how difficult that might be for us to do and we all thought that if we individually went to a food and they would say to us, you want to go amongst yourself and sort this out by yourself. They never ever say no to anyone. Yes. So we sat in one room. We sat in one room and we said this. That if today we can walk away with this, that I can suppress my own opinion and I can suppress my own wish to make our food and happy and comfortable, I will have achieved my goal. And that means that when Hazrat Ibn Alam, and we all agreed on this, that when Hazrat Ibn Alam come to Zafar Sahib's house, actually they don't go to Zafar Sahib's house, they go to my house. And when Hazrat Ibn Alam stayed in Afu Sahib's house, that's not Afu Sahib's house, that's my house. So we ended with this, that whatever happens, Hazrat Ibn Alam will come to Afu Sahib's house, will go to the airport, will come back to uh, Afu Sahib's house, and will leave Afu Sahib's house. That is the model. I plead with all of you. I know it's very difficult to do that have four, five, or six people listening in June and July. I would plead with you that if somebody else wants me, wants to take a look at to their house, let them. Because I'll tell you one day, one day will come and everybody will say, actually, we've all, we've all had our own, let them look at go to this person. That time will come. And if we can actually start to do that now, we've got a much, much better day to do in the future. I know that what we've been able to do in these two days of learning is very achievable to do that in every, every <coughs> we can open our hearts, and I include myself in this. Don't, please don't take this as I'm giving somebody else a lecture. This is as much for me as it is for anybody else. The fact that if I, if I can open my heart, if I can open my mind to somebody else's opinion or somebody else's wish, then I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will put that love and that thought in that other person's mind to give me the respect and the time that I I want for myself. I pray in the course of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the same of the Prophet Muhammad and the Prophet Muhammad and the Prophet Muhammad and keep coming to be prepared for our benefit. And I ask the Prophet Muhammad that we ask the Prophet Muhammad to come in the month of Rabbi Rabbi three years ago and you said yes. I'm sure I speak on behalf of everybody but at this moment in time you come to the UK two times a year. I wish like everybody else that you come to the UK many more times a year. That is not the Prophet Muhammad for a week, or even if it's for one day, even if it's for one hour, we would love to see you more and more like this. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. Subhanallah.